Hi, thanks for joining. In this video, we will show how to use Databricks as a data source in Timber, map delta tables to the semantic data model, explore the data as a connected graph, and query the data both in Timber and in a Databricks notebook. We'll start by creating a new data model. We'll call our data model Delta Lake Supply Chain, and we'll move on to configure Databricks as the data source. We'll click on Add New Data Source and fill in the connection details. When done, we'll click on Save. After saving the data source, now that we have a new model connected to Databricks, let's move to the Ontology Explorer and start to design our new model. As you can see, we don't have any concepts in the model yet. I will use the Create Concepts from Data Sources wizard to generate the data model directly from the delta tables. I'll choose the schema and tables we want to map to the model. Next, we'll add the concept name for each table mapping. If we add existing concepts in the model, we could also choose them instead of creating new ones. In the next step, we can review the properties which act as table columns, as well as the property types, and see that they are associated with the right concepts. We can also decide to change the original property names and data types according to our requirements. In the next step, we can add an optional description for each concept, set the primary key to avoid duplications, and set the entity label for each concept that will serve as the textual representation when we explore the data as a graph with nodes and edges. In the final step, we will validate the concepts, each one with its associated table and columns as properties, and when validated, we'll click on Run to generate the model. Great, our model was generated successfully. The last thing we'll do is add the semantic relationships, which will help avoid writing complex joins and allow us to travel between concepts when exploring the data as a graph. For the sake of the example, I will only add a couple of relationships to the customer concept. I'll run through it quickly, but if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to create relationships, including many-to-many -many and recursive relationships, I invite you to watch the dedicated tutorial video, which elaborates on the steps and best practices. Excellent. So now our model is ready for consumption. We can click on any concept and see its properties, relationships, and even fetch a 50-row sample of the data from the table mapped to the concept. Now, let's move on to the graph exploration in Timber. Here, we have two options. We can either use the simple method, which only requires us to choose the starting point of the graph exploration, or we can use the business language method to start the exploration from a business question. I'll go ahead and run the following query, asking to find all the customers that made an order which include the product Adidas Kids Messy Soccer Shoes. And there we have it. From here, we can start loading in additional information, like the order country, which will cluster together all the orders coming from the same country. And we can continue to explore the graph and load additional concepts, for example, shipment information. For that, let's use the in-shipment relationship from the order concept. And there it is. We can now see the shipment information on the graph. We can click on any node on the graph and view its data, and we can continue to explore our model as we wish. Now, let's quickly move over to the SQL editor and see how we query the data model in SQL. We'll choose our knowledge graph, and we can see the data source is Databricks. We'll query the model using the D-Timber schema, which exposes the relationships instead of using joins, to simplify the query and make it much more coherent and easier to manage, just like our query we see here. We are now querying the customer concept and using the has ordered relationship, connecting concept customer to concept order to get the order IDs. We are also using the has shipment relationship, connecting customer to concept shipment to fetch the delivery status information. I'll run the query, and here are the results, as simple as that. Lastly, let's move to the Databricks notebook. This notebook was already connected to the Timber platform. In case you want to learn how to connect your Databricks cluster to Timber, you are welcome to visit our tutorial videos and watch the specific video that goes through the steps on how to make this connection. 
Now, I will run the same query we just ran in Timber's SQL editor, only this time from our Databricks notebook. And there are the results. Another option I have here is to query using Python. So let's run the Python query as well. And here are the results. So to conclude, in a matter of minutes, we managed to connect to Databricks as a data source, use the delta tables to generate our semantic model, add relationships, explore our model as a graph, and query our model using SQL and Python from both Timber and a Databricks notebook. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I invite you to visit our YouTube channel to check out our tutorial playlist that will guide you through the best practices and improve your experience in the Timber platform. Thanks for watching and have a great day.